So we're with Ben, and although this power station might not be able to start your worm drive table saw, what can it power? Tell us a little Pretty bit about this thing. Anything, if you're a contractor, anything below a table saw. So this is 3,000 watt peak, 2,000 continuous. So it'll start almost every miter saw. It's gonna start your worm drive circ saw. Um, it will start your worm drive yes, motor saw? saw? Yep. So actually on that saw, if you have two 7.5s on this unit, it's gonna get about 1,500 cuts on a two by four. Wow. Um, and then obviously if you have four 7.5s, you're gonna double that cut. Um, so it's kind of designed for a contractor on the job site, camping, tailgating, um, hunting, and also power out. The sine wave of this? Pure sine. So it's a pure sine wave. That's Wait, one of the big no. questions. I have, a, I have a question. Yes, sir. We have this. I went through the literature. It says that if you're charging two batteries on this power station, the charging is simultaneous. That's correct. I have not experienced that. It's, it's sequential. Sorry, not simultaneous. It's sequential. So it'll charge one battery at a time. Yeah. With two? With, yeah. With so then, four, so, so three, then yeah. when you put on four, it, it, it's, it's, st it's still sequential. So one battery is charging time. So it'll take the lowest voltage battery. Yeah, it brings it up to and the... And it'll teeter-totter up, yep. So they'll, they'll all be pretty much equal. Correct. So that when, if you were to go to power something, they will discharge equally. Correct. I got you. Yeah. I, I could swear, you know, and my reading, my reading's not that good, but... <laughs> I could swear it said if you were charging two only two batteries, it said simultaneous okay. in the literature. Am I wrong? I actually don't know. Is your reading not that good either, huh? It's not that good. All right, all right. Okay. I mean, it's an awesome solution. This is the thing. We we made a point on our unboxing video to talk about how <clears throat> with the upcoming upcoming solar solution. Mm -hmm. This would even be better yep. than a traditional gas operated. So in your power outage, you will always have power. Um, so we will make a charger that's compatible with all solar panels. We're not launching a solar panel. We're launching oh. a charger that will be compatible with all solar panels on the market. Um, it'll look very similar to this. So your solar panel would charge, or excuse me, plug into this, and then this would just plug into the unit. So let me ask you this question. I, I, I know for busy people, contractors, we want solutions. And sometimes we'll even pay a little bit more just so it's all right. Will you have an endorsed solar panel package from a company? Like if you're not gonna do the solar panels yourself, will you say, hey, this kit works with Ego Power Station? I think that would be awesome. You wanna know why? Because it's not that I can't think, because I can think, Sometimes I don't have the time. Sure. I just want somebody to tell me, yeah, this one works. Hey, Ben, th which one works with mine? Yeah. What do you think? I, I think it's great. Yeah, yeah, just recommend it. You heard it here first. All right, cool. Is there anything we're missing about this? Uh, we do have an app that's actually tied to this product. Um, so you can connect to the app via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Um, so you can actually turn on and off individual AC outlets and turn on your USBs. Um, you can also do firmware up, firmware updates. So as we're making improvements to the software, just like an update on your phone, you can do that to this product. So, so for instance, in the future, if you did have a solar compatible charger, you might require a, a firmware update. Uh, but yes, there are going to be some instances out of the box, no, but as we make improvements. Okay. Can you make a firmware improvement that would turn that sequential charging into simultaneous. No, that's, Come on! That's in the hardware. Come on, Ben! <laughs> Not the software. All right. Anything else you could tell us about it? Uh, sold with two, two 7.5s for eleven ninety seven. And if you like getting a ton of bang for your buck. And margaritas. And the ability in a power outage to still make a margarita get tuned up and forget that the power's out, then smash the like button. You want to know why? Because it's free. That's why. It's not going to cost you anything to tap the like button. Did you know that, Ben? It's not eleven ninety seven. It does not cost eleven hundred dollars to tap the like button. It's totally free. It's like That's tapping. Right. It's like tapping the off button on this Osterator or whatever it's called. <laughs> it's free. So do that now. We'll say thank you. Thanks, Ben. Ben. Yeah. For everything. 
And thank you for being here with us. We'll see you on the next one. I like that. Man. People are gonna get excited about that solar. The solar thing is good. Yeah. This is the thing. You, you know, guys. Oh, you know, I can just fill up my gas cans. Right. The gas it runs out eventually, but the power of the sun never does. is inextinguishable. Wow. Listen, don't believe the propaganda. Nothing happening to the sun. Okay, we're all fine. We're not doomed. Okay, come on. What's what's? Come on, Ben. You're a doom and gloomer, aren't you? So this is uh, just launched, actually. So this is a brand new Ego chainsaw. Um, right off the bat, one thing to notice is 18-inch bar and chain, Oregon bar and chain. Our previous model, the largest, was 16, so we bumped up to 18. This has a 20 meters per second chain speed. So that is actually going to be the fastest chain speed of any cordless saw. Uh, it's equivalent to a 40cc gas saw. Um, Probably the coolest feature on this chainsaw is actually how you tension the chain. So when you make a lot of cuts, obviously you will get sag in your chain, just it heats up. Yes. It loosens. All you need to do, if you actually had a sag in your, or a drip in your chain, you would just back this up and then spin it forward. And there's actually a sprocket inside here that tensions this perfectly and you can't over tighten it. Wow. Um, That's awesome. uh, another thing too, you need to grab a battery. We're Ego, we put a light on our chainsaw, of course. So it's the fall time, it's fall cleanup, it gets dark at 4.30 now, I hate it. But if I have a tree in my driveway when I come home, no need to fear, I have a light on my chainsaw. Or if I'm camping or uh, hunting. You're in you know, tree coverage, you can just you know, clean up, be able to see. I'm gonna start it up. So you can see how fast it's going. Um, yeah. My question is, uh, yeah. bear tool? We do sell a bear tool. I don't know the price. We do sell a bear tool. With, with, what's the kit? Then? With 5.0 battery. How much? Kit is 320. I'm a product guy. I don't know. Listen, the, the reason I, I'm asking is, you know, we're coming in that season, and yeah. I, I've personally been in, you know, I, I've, I've lived in places where there's a lot of tree cover on the way home and all, and you got to throw a chainsaw in the truck because you don't know when there might be a tree down that will block the road. My question is, you don't have to worry about the gasoline, you don't have to worry about it leaking out of your gate. You know, you have a battery, you throw it on the tool, you start it up, it's ready to go. It's gonna start every time with a push of the button. And you don't have to worry about the cold start it. The carburetor being gummed up, you don't have to worry about the, the ethanol and the fuel. You don't have to worry about that. The brake on that's incredible too. Yeah, it's, it's it's very quick. Safe. Safe and quick. And if you like being safe and quick, smash the like button. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not already, Ben said to get subscribed and tap the bell because you never know when Ben might be in another video. And Ben knows you're not going to want to miss it. Tap the bell. Get subscribed. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you, Ben. Right, so we'll see you on the next one. Ben, next time I talk to you, you have a price for Bear Tool? Yeah, you got it. Thank you. <laughs> the video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.